friends, today we are going to talk about allosteric models. Now, basically to explain allosteric we need two kinds of models, and concerted model and symmetry model. As we know, we, there are certain Michael Menten enzymes, they work on the basis of Michael Menten kinetics. But allosteric enzymes, they need different models for their working. So there are basically two types of models. One is the concerted model and another is the symmetry model. Now why do we why do we need two models? It's basically one of the where one of the model fails, another model works. So we need both models to explain the allosterism phenomena. Now today we will talk in detail about concerted model. So in concerted model what happens is that suppose this is your hemoglobin molecule. And so, and there are two forms. One is the tight form, and another is the relaxed form. Now it is like when oxygen binds, then all the T subunits they change into all the R subunits. It's it's like all the music musicians are playing all different, all the same music, and all the subunits are getting converted to same type, different type. Sorry. So for example, one in the tight form when one oxygen binds, the, all the subunits they change into R state. When second oxygen binds, the, all the oxygen they change into relaxed form. When third oxygen binds, then all the subunits they change into relaxed form. And when fourth oxygen binds, then also the all the units they change into the relaxed form. Now here the equilibrium lies more toward the T form and when another ox oxygen binds there is equilibrium shift and there is little equilibrium towards the relaxed side. Now at, in the third condition there is e e equal, both in the both direction equilibrium is equal and in, in this figure the equilibrium is more toward the relaxed side and here the equilibrium is more toward the tight side. <coughs> so this is the concerted <coughs> model. So there are many drawbacks of this concerted model. One of the drawback is that when there is oxygen binding at one subunit, there should be a conformal change in the adjacent subunits, which is not explained by the concerted model. So it is one of the drawbacks of concerted model. Now friends, we will talk about sequential model. In the sequential model, it's a T form. And as soon as oxygen will bind, there will be change in the adjacent <coughs> subunits also. First there will be change in the <coughs> subunit and this will get converted into this circle form. And then there is another, and as both of these subunits will change, which are adjacent to oxygen. And then this is adjacent to these oxygen and then this conformer also will change to circular conformer. And when all the oxygen will bind, then it is R form. Now this sequential model has got three intermediate stages, whereas concerted model had either T form or the R form. Now the drawback of this sequential model is that there are when three molecules of oxygen, it should be more of R form as in the concerted model, but it is intermediate stage which is explained by the concerted model. So where the concerted model fails, the sequential model works and where sequential model fails, their concerted model works. Now there are certain enzymes which, which work on the basis of concerted model and there are certain enzymes which work on the basis of sequen sequential model. And there are certain enzymes which work both on the, on the basis of sequential and the concerted model. And this, there is a sigmoidal shape curve which is observed in case of allosteric enzymes. Thank you friends.